Dear student, in the previous class we have learnt about Euclid fifth postulate. In this class we will study about equivalent versions of Euclid fifth postulate. Now we recall Euclid fifth postulate. Euclid fifth postulate says that a line falling on two other lines such that the sum of the interior angle of the same side of the line is less than two right angles or less than 180 degree then both the lines are intersect to each other in the same side of that line that is called Euclid fifth postulate now we will study about equivalent versions of Euclid fifth postulate the one of the very important equivalent versions of Euclid fifth postulate is called plane phase axiom the plane phase axiom states that for every line L and every point P not lying on line L, there exists a unique line M passing through P and parallel to the line L. See here in this figure, L is the given line and P is the point that is not lying on the line L and there exists only line M which is passing through the point P and parallel to L. Two other more lines are there, but they are not parallel to L, but passing through the point P. That is the one line there, P is the point there, but P is not lying on the line L. That is the one line there, but P is not lying on the line L. That is the one line there, but P is not lying on the line L. That is the one line there, passing through the point P, but not parallel to the line L. That is why we have to do play phase as we have to do it. This result can be stated as two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. That is why we have to do it. That is why we have to do it. Two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Now, we will solve the problems on exercise 5.2. First problem, how would you rewrite Euclid fifth postulate so that it would be easier to understand? Now, we will go to Euclid fifth postulate. Now, we will go to Euclid fifth postulate. Now, we will rewrite Euclid fifth postulate. Now, we will rewrite Euclid fifth postulate. First taking solution, we can write the Euclid fifth postulate as two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Okay. Now, taking the second question, does Euclid fifth postulate imply the existence of parallel lines? Explain. Question of the Euclid fifth postulate and the main there are non-parallel lines in the now, we will see that Euclid fifth postulate exists in non-parallel lines. Now, we will see that parallel lines in Euclid fifth postulate exists in the other one. Yes, Euclid fifth postulate exists in the parallel lines also. Okay, now see here, if a straight line L falls on two lines M and N such that sum of the interior angles on one of the side of the line N is two right angles then by Euclid fifth postulate line M and N will not meet on this side of L. Similarly, the sum of the interior opposite angles of the other side of the transversal or line L is equal to two right angles then both the lines M and N are not intersecting to the other side also. See here, there are the two lines M and N. Another line L also there. The line L falling on the two lines M and N. See here, in the left side of the line L, the sum of the interior angles of the two interior angles is equal to two right angles then M and N will not 
meet in the left side of L. Similarly, the sum of the two interior opposite angles in the right side of the line L, they sum me equal to two right angles, then M and N will not meet in the right side also. Then the line M will pass to the line N because M and N never meet in any side. इंटरसेक्ट आ इंटरसेक्ट आगोदेक्ट आगे 